Hi, I'm Deborah, and this is Kids to Cuisine, where there are recipes, tips, tricks, hints, and hacks to help people of all ages learn their way around the kitchen. Wait till the end for the bonus and the recipe. Rotisserie chicken, usually picked up at the store on the way home, has replaced the chicken that was part of the Sunday dinner rotation that I remember. The deli rotisserie chicken does come at a price. It often sits in its plastic covered container waiting to be chosen. It is higher in salt than homemade and its skin is soggy. But it is easy to make this chicken at home and I'm going to show you how. Watch to the end for the bonus tips, tricks, hints and hacks to make the best fotisserie chicken ever. This is a fotisserie chicken because it's roasted and not threaded onto a spit and rotated over a grill or an oven. The size and the cost of the chicken was about the same as the rotisserie chicken on display at the deli counter. However, my fotisserie chicken tasted better, was juicier and had nicer, crispier skin. I also had a bonus, side dishes. I added potatoes, onions and carrots for extra flavor and to complete the first meal. Here's how I did it and you can do it too. Get a fryer chicken. I chose one that was closest to four pounds or 1.8 kilograms. And here's a tip. You can make this fotisserie chicken in an air fryer like I did with my Instant Pot and the Instant Pot air fryer lid attachment. The method is the same. The kitchen stays cooler. I like it. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Thickly slice one pound or 450 grams of potatoes, one onion and two carrots. In a large bowl, pour six ounces or 200 milliliters of olive oil. Add one teaspoon or 500 milliliters each of tarragon, sage, thyme and paprika. Add two teaspoons or 10 milliliters of kosher salt and one and a half teaspoons or 7.5 milliliters of pepper. This becomes the seasoning for both the vegetables and the chicken. Set the bowl aside. Cut one lemon into quarters and place three to six sprigs of parsley, including the stalks, with the lemon. Mix one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of kosher salt and one teaspoon or five milliliters of pepper. Twist the wings behind the chicken. There's a reason for this. The chicken wings become part of a stable base for the chicken in the roasting pan. And they're super easy to carve off once the chicken is done. Remove the giblets, which are usually in a package from the body cavity of the chicken. Pat the chicken dry, then place it on a plate or a cutting board. Tail up and pour the salt and pepper into the cavity. Rub the mixture into the cavity walls. This helps to impart flavor. Hold one leg and stuff the cavity with the lemon and parsley sprigs. Here's a tip. I don't rinse my poultry for the same reason that I use separate knives and cutting boards for the chicken. Cross-contamination. If any of the water sprays onto counters, walls or floors, and it's happened to me more than once, I would rather keep all things chicken together in one sink and sanitize everything once. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tie the legs together. This is called trussing. Just cut a length of kitchen string or cotton twine, make a slip knot at one end and slip it over the drumstick. Loop it around the other drumstick and pull the two drumsticks together like an X. Make a couple of figure eights around the ends of the drumsticks and then tie them off in a bow. Then all you have to do is pull the ends of the string to remove it when it's time to serve the chicken. After washing my hands thoroughly, I toss the vegetables into the seasoned oil. Then I place them in the roasting pan. They make the base for roasting the chicken. And here's a hint. If you're using a roasting rack with your roasting pan, place the vegetables on the rack before you place the chicken. Rub the remaining oil into the chicken and then place the chicken in the roasting pan. Pour one cup or 225 milliliters of water or broth into the bottom of the pan. Roast the chicken uncovered for 15 minutes per pound or 35 minutes per kilogram. For the chicken of this size, that's approximately an hour. Use an instant read thermometer to ensure the chicken is fully cooked. The thermometer should read 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. Once the chicken is at temperature, remove it from the oven, let it sit 
for approximately 15 minutes. Remove it to a platter and arrange the vegetables around it. Now you have the perfect first meal and any extra will be great for all kinds of dishes. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Ring the bell and receive notification of the videos as they are uploaded every Monday and Thursday. And please follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. And have a wondrous day.